All right, guys. So we went into our questioning and we're thinking about all of the parts. We're thinking about questions in, in stories. And so now we kind of get to the fun stuff and we start talking about parts of a story. And this is really going to help us when we are writing as well, because when we write, we need these parts of a story, too. So in a story, the first there's many different pieces, but we're going to start slow. So things that are in a story, the first thing are characters. You got to have characters. Characters are the people, animals, or creatures in a story. They're the ones that make the story happen. And they can be anything. Think about a movie and the characters, the trolls. Those were characters, all the little trolls in the, the trolls um, oh, on tour. Is that what it's called? On tour? So the trolls, those were the characters. So characters are very important. And you'll have characters in your story, and you'll also see them in books and in movies. So characters are one part of a story. Another part of a story is the setting. And it's where the story takes place or when it takes place. It can take place on a beach, in the snowy woods, in a classroom, outer space. Uh, I mean, it can take place anywhere. So those are the ones that we're going to really look at. We're going to look at the characters. So who's in there? Like who's talking? Who, who's making all these, these situations happen? And the setting, where and when is it happening? Okay. And that where and when is a big deal. Okay. Where are they going? When did they go? Did they go at night? Did they go during the day? We have a book called Happy Pig, Happy Pig Day. And we're going to try to answer those two questions. Who are our characters? And what was our setting? Let's read and find out. Happy Pig Day by Mo Willems. Gerald, Gerald, I am so happy. Today is the best day of the year. Who are our characters? Gerald and the pig. But I don't know what the pig's name is. We'll have to keep going. Today is free ice cream day? No. Today is happy pig day. Happy pig day? Yes. Happy pig day. The day of the pig. It is the best day to have a big party. It is the best day to sing pig songs. It is the best day to dance pig dances. It is the best day to eat pig food. It is the best day to play pig games. It is the best day to say oink, 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 oink. That means happy pig day to pig. Oh. I did not know about Happy Pig Day. Look! Oinky, oink, oink! All my friends are here! Oinky! Look, we've got more characters. We've got three more pigs. And we have our elephant, Gerald. And have they told us who the pig is? So we're still trying to figure out when. we got to look closely at clues to figure out when and where it's happening. Let's keep going. Oink, oink, oinky, oink, oink. That is a lot of pigs. Oinky, oink, oink. Oinky, oink, oink. Isn't this great, Gerald? Gerald? Are you okay? I am sorry, Piggy. I have a trunk. I have big ears. I am gray. I do not have a snout. I do not have hooves. I am not pink. I want to say happy pig day in pig, but I am not. I am an elephant, and I do not 
different animals. That's cool. I say, oink, 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 oink. Happy Pig Day to everyone. And to all of you who were listening all the way to the end. Happy Pig Day to you, to you, and you, and especially you. Thanks. So, you, to you. We know who our characters were. It was the pit, the elephant and the pig, and the bear, and the cat. I think that's a squirrel. But we have to think about where and when. So we have to really use our detail, our clues from the book because it doesn't happen fast. But think about a party, because it was a party. When do your birthday parties happen? Do they happen in the daytime or at night? I know for us, they happen in the daytime. And if you look, the background is white and bright. So don't you think it could have been happening at the daytime? I agree. Also think about your parties. If they're doing streamers and they're jumping around like they were, where do you think that was happening? Do you think that was happening on the inside of the house or on the outside? On the outside, because I don't know about you, but I don't want my girls to jump around in the house because I don't want them to get hurt. So even though it wasn't clear to us with our setting, we were able to use the clues from the story to figure out what our setting was and what it was. It won't always be that hard, but it's great to look at everything and see where it all comes from. So characters, the elephant, pig, bear, cat, and squirrel. When and where it happened? Well, when it happened was, out, was during the day and where was outside. So in your book today in Raskets, be thinking about that. Think about who the characters are and where and when it's taking place. All right, go get started.